The fins of the Pacific sailfin tang can unfold to reveal beautiful patterns. What's going on everybody? My name is Brandon, I'm a marine biologist and an artist, and welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. I love sharing my passion of the oceans and its creatures with you through art. I would also like to say thank you for being patient with me through this time. I had the opportunity to paint a painting for a family friend. I did that, it took three weeks, delivered it to her, and she loved it. Then something unexpected happened, and unfortunately it means that I had to look into this business a little more, uh, and I have to change a few things that are going on in my life. Um, I'm going to try and do my best to keep this channel up and running, but I also need your help to with growing this business. I, need, I will need help in the future financially. I'll need help um, with basically how I run this channel and how I run for you guys. If you have any help or any tips for me, um, just write them down in below. Um, I also made a Patreon. I don't know. I don't quite know what's going to be on it quite yet. I'm thinking about doing uh, like real-time videos where I'm talking to you about art. We could go on like field trips or whatever to the aquarium. We could do videos like that. Um, I'm not really sure right now, um, but any help would be. Like appreciated. Patreon is a place, a uh, third-party site where you pay, you basically you pay a subscription for every single month. I didn't regulate how much it could be, so it could be anywhere from like one dollar a month to like fifteen. I have a gift for people um, who pay fifteen dollars a month. It'll be a uh, greeting card, but right now I'm still trying to hash everything out. Um, I just want to thank you for being patient and for understanding and like helping me along this journey. I really appreciate your support. All right, let's get let's get into it. Today we're going to be discovering the Pacific sailfin tang. Are you ready? Let's dive in. The Pacific sailfin tang, or surgeon fish, lives in the Indo-Pacific. Like most fish in the Indo-Pacific, they are found in the Indian Ocean, Australia, along the coast of Western Pacific Ocean, and into Hawaii. It prefers warm waters like lagoons, sheltered reefs, and rocky shores. They are a solitary animal that tends to be territorial with their own kind. On occasion, small groups can be found in the wild, but there needs to be lots of space. They are docile to other fish, but don't seem to like each other that much. The sailfin tang is found in waters from 5 to 30 meters deep, or 16 to 96 feet. The Pacific sailfin tang, also known as the sailfin surgeon fish, grows to 15 inches. It is part of the surgeon fishes. They have sharp spines on the side of their tail, kind of like a blade. The spine on this fish can retract into grooves along the tail. They are typically docile but you need to be aware of the threat if you are handling them. Your typical person will not in be in contact with this fish, but some aquariums use them in their tanks. All right, let's get into how to, how to identify the Pacific sailfin tang. The fish has large dorsal and anal fins. When extended fully, the height of the fish equals the length. Since this is a reef fish, what type of body is best for maneuverability? If you guessed disc shape, you would be correct. If you didn't get that, it is alright. It is always fun to learn something new. This fish is covered in stripes. As juveniles, the coloration is bright yellow and black. The stripes are all a consistent shade of brown or black. As they become adults, the yellow fades to a cream or white color. Also, the dark bands fade. The darkest black stays around the eyes and the one just behind it. Then the stripes fade towards the tail. This is a slight fade, but it is still present. The tail is typically bright yellow and stays that way forever. The fish that we see in this video has its dorsal and anal fins down. It doesn't have the same effect as seeing the fins fully extended, 
but it is still an awesome fish. It is time to discover the diet and threats to the sailfin tang. What do they eat? Are they ferocious predators of the sea? Are they herbivores? Do they eat garbage? Well, they aren't huge predators, and they don't eat garbage. That leaves herbivores. Yeah, they eat plant matter and algae from the rocks and the reef. Occasionally they will eat invertebrates, just to keep a well-balanced diet. But you don't need to worry about it eating you while you're swimming, so that's nice. So how are the Pacific Sailfin Tang doing? What threatens them? The IUCN Red List has them listed as least concerned. Although the populations are thinly spread, it is doing fine. There are no major threats to this fish. An estimated 4,000 fish are taken to be used in aquariums worldwide each year. Since this fish is used in the aquarium trade, I bet you can guess where I saw this fish. Yep, the Maui Ocean Center. It was their large reef tank. It was swimming, as many fish do. I was taking pictures of all the different fish in the tank. This one swam in front of the lens, then I took its picture. I didn't know what kind of fish it was or anything, basically, uh, when I took the picture. The fun part is watching fish, and then trying to figure out what they are later. I typically treat every fish as a, spe a special fish. This encounter wasn't too exciting, there wasn't a big display, it wasn't a f it was just a fish swimming around in a tank. It would be cool to see this in the wild, but this was my encounter with the Pacific Sailfin Tang. And I can't complain. I will call this adventure finished. Thanks so much for watching. If you think that I deserve it, click the subscribe button and check that notification bell. It tells you when I post my videos. I post every Saturday and Tuesday. Saturday's videos focus on the science of the animals. Tuesday's videos po are all about the art and how I do it. Links to all my social media, as well as Teespring and now Patreon, can be found below. Let's make this world a little bit better together. I've been Brandon, and I will see you in our next adventure.